Hello everyone and welcome to season 2 with Sprouts FC. After winning promotion by being the champions of the academy division, Sprouts have made their way into the amateur division. On their journey to championship, they were able to win the Global Challenge Cup, they were able to win the Bronze Cup, and they won the All-Star match as well. So here they go, playing against Sheffield United in their first ever amateur division championship. Will they be able to win? Maybe, maybe not. Everything is different now. Everything is harder. So let's get into it. Okay, everyone. So let's talk about what's happening this season. So we are no longer going to be doing the whole um, short form video of three games in one situation anymore. Unless, of course, the amateur division is not that much harder than the academy division. I have not yet experienced enough of it to make a solid judgment of that. So otherwise we'll be sticking with these longer form videos with me commentating, narrating, all that stuff. But anyways, welcome. This is indeed the Sprouts FC's second season. And the idea is that all the AI has now become better. So the teams in the Global Challenge Cup will stay the same, all with the rating and everything. However, unlike in the academy division, where even with a team like Sprouts that season are able to beat the stronger teams in terms of rating, the end of it is the AIs progress. So it is unlikely that we will be able to win the Global Challenge Cup in this season, unfortunately. I know, I know, I know. People out, all of you support Sprouts FC to hell and back. Unfortunately, that's the truth. We can contest, but there is no guarantee that we'll win it like we did in the first season. What I can guarantee, however, is we will in fact be going to absolutely demolishing every single amateur division team. I know for a fact that we will win every game and win the league again and get promotion up into whatever the division above amateur division is. That is my promise to all of you as the manager of this esteemed club. As the head coach of this esteemed club that has a history of 30 games, give or take. Um, unfortunately, there is still the issue where I am dealing with several moments where sometimes I can lose footage or I just am unable to record the games while they're happening i will do my best to compensate for that however based on how the games go it will also dictate whether or not we will be getting any new players this season we have two new players that we signed at the end of last season to just join the club so that we could be a bit better get some more depth in there we upgraded our stadium so that we could get into this division but we have no other guarantees i have the money and if we decide to we will improve the squad. If anyone wants to make a recommendation of which position in the squad you believe I should improve first, do leave them in the comment section below, and I will see if I can get a player who is suitable to replace whoever you wish to be replaced. But with our current 100% win record, I don't really think there's much changes needed just yet. So yeah, that will be the diction of the season. Let's see how this goes. And that concludes our first game. Nothing really happened in the second half. Um, yeah, so we have, we have, we're pretty much done. We're, we're good. But So let's get into this one, where we are playing our second ever match. Finally going away from home. We are going up against Birmingham. Look at the Birmingham boys. Do they really stand the chance? No. No, they do not. But they are in their match of division. They didn't come up with us. So let's see if they're able to put up any more of a fight in comparison to Sheffield. Oof, okay, good passing play from them so far, but they're not exactly the most physical batch. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's that's dumb. That that's not that was not foul. <clears throat> that's a light tackle. Yeah, nah, Birmingham. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, two fouls in a row, and now we're on a yellow, good. 
Great stuff, you know, boys. Great stuff. Come on. Okay, well, they just... They just kicked themselves. Okay, and Kunku. Okay, Fernandez. Yeah, one of our new guys. Right. Pass it down the wing, god damn it. Royal. Royal taking it down the wing and passing it back to Tabidi. Tabidi loses it to Mijbido. Sanderson now has the ball and is going through the midfield. He... He... Yeah, okay. You know, I'm, 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 I don't remember if this leads to a goal. So Tabidi has the ball and he loses the ball. And Kunku kicks it all the way back to Royal, who gives it to Wright, who passes it away to Bielik. And now Hogan takes the ball and he runs it forward. But it is taken by Fernandez, who gives it back to Tabidi, who passes it on to Nkunku, who takes a shot and hits the crossbar. Oh my god, I know how I remember how this game goes now. Oh, this is gonna be so long. Okay, um so Bir Bir Birmingham's going on the attack. Bir okay, that was terrible. Come on boys, what are you doing? Oh shoot. Okay, okay. Um um okay that was way too close for comfort way too close but it's fine it's fine <laughs> defense is a bit lacking even with the addition of royal okay but it's fine to beat it as the ball and he tries to do a through ball Nkunku's not fat oh wait no Nkunku has it come on man there we go just slotted into the top left corner this time no second mistakes no second chances required and just on the brink of halftime too. Okay, that was good. That was good. Good work, Nkunku. Good work. Good work indeed, my man. Okay, here we go. Second half. Second half. Uh, they have Dini attacking. Now giving it to Colin. Colin passes it back to Bakuna. Bakuna gives it to Be Bielik. Who? 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 Okay, Fernandez is well. Nice. Nkunku. Loses the ball, unfortunately, but takes it back. Passes it, right? Nope, he just runs with it. Now he passes it when it's offside. That was too long. That was way too long to hold the ball for. But it's a free kick. Okay. And Kunku steps it up. He goes for it. He shoots. And what a goal! What on earth, actually? Damn. That was... You know what? Fair play on Kunku. Fair play indeed. Well done. A good, good, well taken free kick. Nice. Okay. Now Tabidi has the ball and gives it back to Nkunku. Nkunku runs it forward. Can he get a third? And he has his hat trick. He has hit almost every corner of the goal so far. All that's missing, missing is a bottom right. Okay. The floodgates have opened. And Sprouts are finally finding their groove again. But Birmingham seems to still have some form of a fight in them. I think that's off. Oh, it's not. No, it is. <laughs> of course it is. <clears throat> of course that was offside. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Offside's fine. We are... At least we scored the goals. At least we scored the goals. Tabidi. Okay, is this another one? Is this another goal? Nkunku? Are you fast enough? No, you are not. Okay, we lost the ball there. Damn. Full time is just around the corner. There we go. Okay, so a beautiful second win for Sprouts FC with another three goals in the bag for Unkunku. The captain has really put in a performance, and I lost the footage. We, I, I lost the footage here, right there, as you can see. Four, four, one. Yeah, we conceded. I, I recorded the first half where we conceded the goal. Unfortunately, um, I lost. I don't know why it did not re it did not like encode the recording or something so I do not have the first half on film but it was a 4-1 victory for us in the end so we keep going we do not keep a clean sheet going to the third game but that's quite all right sometimes you just don't keep the clean sheets and then Kunku just did it so yeah that concludes our first match week everyone I hope you enjoyed um it'll be a very different from the original season, of course, because I'm just going to do a bit more when it comes to actually recording and editing. Not really editing, but commentating. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to follow along with Sprout's journey as they try to become the best football team in the world. Take care.